The Body on Somerton Beach. On December 1st, 1948, a man's body was discovered on Somerton Beach in Adelaide, Australia. The body was found lying on the sand, with his feet crossed and his head propped up against the seawall. The man was estimated to be in his mid-40s and was well-dressed, wearing a suit, tie, and polished shoes. There was no identification found on him. Upon further examination, authorities discovered that the man had a strange expression on his face and that his pupils were unusually small, leading them to believe that he may have been poisoned. An autopsy was performed, but the cause of death could not be determined. There were no signs of violence or struggle on the body. Investigators then searched the man's clothing and found a scrap of paper in a hidden pocket sewn within the man's trousers. The paper contained two words, Tamam Shud, which were later found to be from a Persian book of poetry, the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. The words translated to ended or finished. A copy of the same book was later found in the back seat of an abandoned car near the beach, with some lines in the book underlined with a code that has yet to be deciphered. The book also had a phone number and an unidentified code written on the back cover. These clues were investigated, but did not lead to any breakthroughs in the case. The body was eventually buried in an unmarked grave in Adelaide's West Terrace Cemetery. Despite extensive efforts by authorities, the man's true identity remains unknown to this day. Or so we thought. But recently, a professor at the University of Adelaide, Derek Abbott, teamed up with U.S. forensics expert Colleen Fitzpatrick to analyze the Somerton man's DNA, using hairs found inside a plaster model of his face. Together, they finally uncovered the Somerton man's true identity, and his name was Carl Webb. According to Abbott, Webb was born in 1905 in Melbourne, Australia. He married a woman by the name of Dorothy Robertson, and they also have evidence that he separated from his wife who then moved to South Australia. As of now, although his identity has been confirmed, until toxicology is performed on the body, his death is still a mystery. Hey everybody, it's Winter Freshest. I just wanted to say thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the bell so you're notified whenever I drop a new video. As always, much love and thanks again.